Hi guys, Zasmo here and today I have for you a bit of a different video. I'm gonna talk about Betrayal, explain everything you need to know about it from the Atlas passive skill tree through the cheat sheet, every single job, how to get it done. Uh, I have prepared a fully reset board. I fought the mastermind and we have a clean board to work with and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to put every single member into each position that I want, which rewards do they give, what to focus on and basically the approach that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be explaining everything through every single encounter that I go through so I'm gonna edit the video in the way where you're gonna be just seeing the uh, end result of what I'm doing basically so I'm not gonna show the entire mapping process because that's gonna take uh, a long time but I have a lot of missions prepared so I'm gonna just go through them and explain to you everything I do to shuffle the board into, into the right position so first of all uh, the first thing that you want to prepare if you're going to be doing betrayal is of course you need the missions right if you want to accumulate a lot of missions i think there's also a sextant modifier for it but you can get a, a lot of missions by running the right passive uh, the right passives on your atlas skill tree so the passives that you want to run are right at the beginning right so right from the start of the league what i did is i picked focused investigation and i picked uh, covered stakeouts and i had a ton of missions uh, by picking those two you just get a lot of a lot of june missions and you're gonna be able to do betrayal a lot this is a pretty profitable league mechanic it's really nice to do while you're doing some other strategies so for example i am going to be farming for heist i'm going to be doing also challenges for harvest and at the same time i'm going to be doing these betrayal missions so I'm, let's first talk maybe about the uh, passive uh, skill points on the atlas skill tree so like i said the covert stakeouts and the focused investigation um, plus also betrayal and syndi syndicate reinforcement chance this is what you want to pick at the beginning the reinforcement chance is very very nice immortal syndicate members in your maps are five percent more likely to be accompanied by reinforcements wherever you can find this passive uh here you have no this is additional veiled items this is like more likely to be ac accompanied by reinforcements this is very very good this gives you more members uh, appearing in your um, encounters which allows you for better options because if you only have one member versus like two or three you get different options so you want as many of them to appear as possible um, so that's one way of doing that we're not picking this intelligence gathering intelligence gathering is something that will block your safe houses whenever when you don't want them to be blocked like there will be certain safe houses that you want these safe houses to spawn in your maps but the intelligence will like push them to the maximum and then you're gonna have to run a safe house breaking the the thing that you were doing so this is something that you only want to use when you know for sure that you have everything set up and you just want to go and finish and do the safe houses that's when you pick this point but normally you don't use this point when you are setting up your board um, this wheel here gives me a chance for june missions and then also the members executed have 100 percent chance to gain an additional rank this is important because this will basically drastically shorten the time required to put everybody to rank three because they will go from rank one to rank three immediately whenever you do the betray option for the first time so this test of loyalty is very very important and very useful to run and then another one we have here effective leadership immortal syndicate members are 100 more likely to be accompanied by their leader and the leaders drop additional veiled item this doesn't really matter that much but the more likely to be accompanied by their leader is super important because the leaders of the safe houses are usually not very eager to join the encounters they appear pretty rarely so this will this is something that will allow you to much easier manipulate who's the leader of the safe house and if and you have someone in the safe house who's a leader who you don't want in that in that safe house at all you're going to be able to meet them more often and just kick them out from that safe house very very easily so this is very very useful so these are the passive skill points that we're picking everything else just whatever you want to run in your other strategy it doesn't really matter i have stuff that i picked for my other strategy in here which is not really important uh, but i may, but i put this skill tree in the description uh, of the video so you can find that the second thing that you want to prepare is the cheat sheet so i'm using awakened poe trade and awakened poe trade has an option when you press shift and space to show you different cheat sheets one of them is for example the betrayal one so by the Fault, there should be probably some betrayal one but you probably should update it so you go to edit and then you choose a file and then you pick a image that is updated for uh, 319 so i will put this image as well in the description of the video so that you can get the fresh 319 image updated and what this basically shows you every single member in the top row 
and then in the uh, left side and uh, like every single member in the top row and then on the left side you can see which jobs these are so on the, the job on the left is transportation then fortification then research then intervention and then it shows you which rewards do they give so before you start manipulating your board you kind of want to figure out what is your end goal right because there are two main approaches to betrayal i'm going to show you the board right now so here are the two approaches one approach is to pack the transportation full of people that you don't want anything from pack the fortification full of people that you don't want anything from so it's going to be a leader and four members leader and four members and that's going to take 10 of these and then you're going to have uh, then you're going to have the remaining members, which is going to be like leader and one or two members that are going to be in the research and intervention. And you're going to never run the mastermind fight. These safe houses are always going to be full and you're never going to remove anybody from them. And then you're just going to be running these safe houses repeatedly, just intervention, research, intervention, research, just over and over with the good members. So that's, that could be something. For example, with Tora that gives gem experience, with Janus which gives expedition currency, uh, with uh, Hillock that gives flask currency, with uh, different scarabs that you want to get. Um, all of these are viable options, but there is also another viable option which is to run the mastermind fight, because when you run the mastermind fight, everybody gets upgraded to tier 4 so if they were rank 3 with 3 stars they will be upgraded to rank 4 when you do the mastermind fight and give you even better rewards but that will of course after the fight reset your board completely and you'll have to redo it from scratch but this is the approach that i will be going for because this is the approach that gives you the biggest rewards and the rewards that are most important because for example you often might want to get like the uh, huge amount of like white sockets or winged scarabs or you want to get the uh, like flask quality to maximum or armor or weapon quality to maximum the 30 percent not just the 28 right you want to get uh, most importantly ashling t4 ashling and research is very very powerful and can sell for a lot of currency to other people who wish to craft with it or you can craft with it yourself so uh, i'm going to be going for that approach for the mastermind fight where we're going to be getting the t4 rewards um, so one of the things that you want to look at uh, when you want to go for this approach approach is the prices of winged scarabs because you can see in intervention almost everybody gives you scarabs and these scarabs are going to be very valuable if you look at poe ninja for example so in poe ninja we have a price listed for every single scarab so we got abyss is the most expensive and we got divination reliquary ambush and then we've got all of the other ones are roughly the same from this tier and then we got some weaker ones that we don't really want right so for the winged ones you really want the divination reliquary and ambush and then maybe harbinger right the abyss probably you're not gonna be getting because abyss is uh, granted by hillock and hillock is uh, much better in something like transportation or fortification or research because he allows you to get the 30 or 28 percent quality which is very very powerful sells uh, sells very easily on tft uh, or also you can use it yourself on your own gear so abyss scarabs i probably will not be going for hillock in intervention but i will be going for a reliquary so that's elrion uh, for gravitious for divination cards right and then maybe we we put someone else who doesn't have any good rewards in any other safe house into the intervention safe house and i want to pack the intervention safe safe house with as many people as possible put like five people there right F four members and the leader and then uh, research i'm gonna put ashling in it i'm gonna put uh, probably it that fled as a leader maybe uh, or janus as a leader and get a bunch of expedition currency and then maybe i'm gonna get tora and vorici into it right because these two are also good and the rest is gonna go in transportation and fortification and you don't really, you don't really have to think too much about those but you can min max them a little bit especially hillock uh, i think i'm gonna put hillock in transportation because i want i have a weapon that i want to push to 30 percent quality uh, and then i will look individually at, at each of the members and see where uh, does it make more sense to put them so I'm going to jump into the maps and uh, anytime basically that I have the uh, encounter, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to be running a simple T16 Mesa map. I just want to run them quickly because I'm just collecting the heist. I'm just doing the harvest for the challenges and moving on to the next map. Also, while making the progress for the Eater of Worlds, so I, I get the invitations. And by killing the boss, I also get more June missions so I can continue doing this. So that's going to be my strategy. See you in the first encounter.
All right, so first encounter, we got Leo. Leo is in here. Let's look in the cheat sheet. What does Leo give in each of the safe houses? Metamorph Scarabs, Random Currency, Catalyst, Reforge uh, with the colors 50 times until they are less likely or something, right? So um, I think we're gonna go for probably the Fortification, Random Currency. We're just gonna keep him here. So we're just gonna make him drop a Scarab. We're not gonna put him in prison. Usually you wanna put people in prison when they are like rank three or rank two, like if they're rank one, if I put him in prison, he's going to be free. He's going to be uh, outside of any safe house because he's going to lose his ranks completely. And then that's when I would be able to put him in another safe house. But I want to keep him in this safe house. So I'm going to just uh, make him drop a scarab. He's going to stay in this safe house and nothing else is pretty much going to happen. So we just get a gilded ambush scarab. Very nice. And then we move on to the next. Okay, next we have Intervention Encounter. We've got Chameria, Janus, and Rin. And uh, none of these particularly great in this safe house. I don't really want Chameria in pretty much anything, maybe in transportation. Uh, Rin, also Cartography Scarabs. I think Wing Cartography Scarabs does sell for like 20 chaos or something. So Rin is decent, it's okay. Um, and then we also have Janus. Janus, I would really like to push into research. Uh, however, he's also okay in intervention because expedition scarabs are really good as well. So let's look at Chameria. Chameria moves to intervention. I don't really want to do that. Let's look at Rin. Rin moves to intervention, not particularly. Janus is here. So I'm probably going to imprison Janus to remove him from here because I want to put him in this safe house instead. So I'm going to put him in prison and I'm going to look at the other guys. Chameria moves to intervention. And then we've got Rin moves to intervention. Probably I don't want to move them because uh, I want to leave space in here. If a safe house has fewer members, then it's more likely to have people to go there. And although Rin is kind of okay, but I think I want to put first uh, people in the intervention that I'm really going to want there. So I can either imprison her, uh, which will give me some uh, uh, intelligence for this, which I don't really care about. Uh, or I can just release her, which will do nothing. I will still gain the XP and gain the rewards. So you can have use this option, right? So uh, drop an additional rare item with Veiled mod. Uh, if you bargain this, I don't. Sh I'm not sure if she's gonna jump in here. I don't think Camira is gonna jump in here. Yeah, she's gonna stay in here. Okay. Um, I don't particularly need any of these. I think I have most of the things unveiled. Uh, but yeah, we got a bunch of these. All right, we got Hillock and Rin in research. Neither of these at this moment are desirable here for me. I don't want Hillock here, so I'm gonna imprison him. So he's not gonna be in the research anymore. So I'm gonna push him there. And then Rin, I can give a research intelligence uh, or I can just imprison her or release. This is such a low amount of intelligence. I can do this in case I want to do something later where I run this, um, this safe house to like remove the leader or something like that. Like we'll see. I'm just gonna grant the intelligence here and move on with that. All right, we've got an intervention Gravitious. Gravitious normally does not appear in the first time that you do the uh, betrayal in, during a league. So you need to remove someone. You will have sometimes an option to remove someone from the Immortal Syndicate, and then you simply will just get a replacement. And one of these replacements can be Gravitious. So Gravitious is someone that we do want and we actually do want him in the intervention because divination scarabs of the winged type are some of the most expensive ones so i'm gonna keep him keep him in here um i'm not gonna put any intervention intelligence i'm just gonna release him and he's gonna stay here with the same rank in the exact same spot so we just release him it will make no changes and uh, he's exactly where i want him so that's really good Next, we've got transportation with it that fled. So it that fled appear, it that fled and Tora become trusted and we get transportation intelligence. I kind of like the fact that he's here. I might want to run the safe house just to uh, remove the people from here. I can also, uh, I can either make him trusted because I kind of want him in the same safe house, as, safe house as Tora in research. So I could build that relationship or I could simply release him, uh, uh, interrogate him, I mean, and then make him uh, go in here. So I'm probably going to pick that option and I'm going to first put him in the right safe house uh, because in that fled, I would like him to be the leader of research. And at uh, tier four, this will give me two benches that upgrade uh, the breach stones. Here we have another research encounter and we've got it that fled and Rin. So it that fled actually uh, is able to move into the research. That's very nice. So that's the, the thing that I'm going to do first. So execute it that fled goes to the right safe house. So now what remains is to just put him into the leader position and then Rin 
Uh, where do I want Rin? Uh, technically, Rin doesn't really do anything good for me. I can just disregard her. I can either put her in intervention, um, in research. She, like Unique maps are okay sometimes, but uh, I would prefer to either put her in intervention or just be uh, like a filler in one of the other safe houses. Um, so we're just gonna make it so that she goes to prison and gets out of this safe house to make space for other members to join. Right now we have a situation where we have a safe house to run here and there we don't know really who's the leader in here and who's in here but I would like to reveal this to know who we are dealing with whether we need to push them to some other safe house because if this is, if this is like Ashling or someone I really want to be in research or an in intervention then I really want to get on with this so I will run this safe house now in order to uh, get rid of this uh, situation right get rid of this leader here find out who it is and put them wherever I actually want them. Okay, so we had Vegan and Tora in here. Both of these are potential intervention members. Tora may be a research member, so I'm gonna imprison her. Someone else jumps into this position. Uh, I think this was the Vegan that jumped into that position, but we're gonna get him out of there. Now we know at least who's there and how to act. So get some extra splinters and then we get some extra, okay, trapped stash. There is a uh, Nothing really interesting here. We just gotta get a couple scours. That's it. Next research encounter, we got it that fled only, which is unfortunate because if the member is alone, we cannot upgrade them. So we could remove it that fled from the Immortal Syndicate, but I don't want to do that. He's a valuable member. I want to keep him here. So I'm just going to keep this, uh, release him, keep him in the same position where he is because it doesn't really change anything for, now, for us right now. And we have another intervention encounter where we got Vorici and Gravicious. We can give a rank to Gravicious. We can also uh, move Vorici to intervention. I want Vorici in research, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna first go with the ranks and he goes to rank three immediately because we have the uh, Atlas passive, right? So if we run this safe house here, we immediately are gonna get some uh, Gilded Divination Scarabs. Uh, and then we got Vorici. They can become trusted, but I actually don't want them to become trusted in this situation because I don't want Vorici to be appearing with this guy. Uh, building a, up relationships is usually a very, very good thing. So you wanna do this, uh, but it depends on what kind, of a, uh, what kind of a strategy you're going for. If you're going for the Mastermind fight strategy with T4 fights, then you don't care as much about relationships generically but you do care about relationships between the right members because if I wanted Vorici to go into intervention and I haven't had that option but I had option to build a relationship with someone from that safe house then it's good because if they're friends they're gonna uh, show up to defend their friends and if they're enemies they're gonna show up to sabotage uh, their enemies right so I simply will keep him here in neither of the safe houses so that he's still free to appear in the uh, research safe house because if you put someone in the uh, interrogation here they cannot appear in the encounter so we just release this guy and do nothing with him right we found a transportation encounter with tora and with vorici again vorici i don't want him here but also i don't want tora in here so i'm probably going to imprison tora to lower her rank make her more likely to leave the safe house so we're gonna lower her rank again then we're gonna grab vorici transportation intelligence uh, that's fine it will allow us to maybe run this safe house so we can get um vegan out of here Okay, next we have a transportation counter with Rin and with Vorici. Again, not particularly excited to have any of these in here, but I think I would rather have Rin in here. Uh, Vorici definitely don't want to move him to transportation. I'm going to first check an option. I'm going to give a rank to Rin in here and maybe keep her as a filler in this safe house because we need to start getting some fillers. And then Vorici, I can give the, in, uh, the intelligence here, but we're not putting him anywhere right now. Right, next we have Intervention with Gravicious and Jorgen. Jorgen actually is not valuable anywhere except for pretty much the research, unless you're trying to make some talismans uh, for like off chance of making some quantity talisman with some good mods or something. But uh, Intervention is where he is pretty decent. If I look at the prices of Scarabs right now, uh, we're gonna see that the winged bestiary scarab is worth like 20c so he's not too bad uh he's already leader in here so i can keep him and give him the plus one rank and that's gonna be totally fine unless we have some other option gravicious becomes leader gravicious and jorgen become rivals uh, this is another option that is decent but i'm just gonna put uh, give him the rank and we're gonna have 
these guys at max ranks here and that is already set and then we just need to get more members into the safe house for gravicious Camiria moves to intervention gravicious and Camiria become trusted i don't want Camiria in here i want Camiria in transportation or fortification as a filler so i'm simply gonna release gravicious and not do anything and as rank three you can see this guy is more beefy now and he has some items it that fled alone in here, rank two, Camiria moves to research and it that fled and Camiria become trusted. I don't want that, so I'm just gonna release this guy and uh, wait until I get someone actually decent coming in here. And finally, some friends came to visit it that fled. We got Janus in here, which we would really like to put in here. So I'm gonna put Janus into research. That's gonna be the first thing I do. He's gonna give us some expedition currency in here. So that's very nice. Camiria, I do not want here. We don't have any any cool options, but I can still give plus one rank because uh, we have still Camiria alive, still something to uh, make a choice with. So that means I will likely have an option to give the plus ranks. So I'm gonna give the ranks so that I can um, potentially get the leader from here coming out and then uh, demote that leader and it that fled being the highest rank is going to be the one jumping into the leader position. And then Camiria, research intelligence or just imprison. Um, She's not anywhere. I want her to stay uh, available to spawn into transportation or fortification. So we're not interrogating her. We're not putting her to prison. Uh, so we're just going to move on with that. All right. And next is intervention. We got Jorgen, Gravicious and Vorici. Vorici, stubborn, doesn't want to go to research. We want him in research and pretty much nowhere else. So I'm going to keep him here. I'm going to look at other options here. Already max rank, not no effect. Already max rank, no effect. So I'm going to uh, just make sure that Vorici stays here available to go to research in the next map and we've got intervention intelligence they become rivals uh, this would block the safe house once you have the full uh, full intelligence then it's gonna block the safe house from spawning in the maps and we do want to put some other people in here uh, so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna release him i'm gonna also check the option for jorgen in case there's like an option of putting someone else in here there isn't so we're just gonna do already max rank no effect and then Gravicious and Rin become trusted. I think that's okay. Rin could go in here. This is an okay relationship. So I'm gonna just do that. And then it gives transportation intelligence. So that's fine. Um, so we have this relationship. So maybe Rin will jump in here. Maybe Gravicious will jump in here. We'll get some extra rewards, some extra spawns. Now we have Tora in transportation. Once again, we can put her into interrogation again, making her free to join either this safe house or this safe house, either of which is going to be fine. So I'm just going to put her into the prison and when she comes out, she's going to lose all of her ranks. All right, we've got a transportation encounter with only Rin and nobody else. We have an option to destroy the items, making this character easier to fire because she's rank uh, three. So she has a bunch of items, basically increased AOE, increased attack speed, just making this NPC harder to fight. Or we can imprison giving a bunch of intelligence for this safe house, which would make it so that I'm much more uh, able to get this uh, leader out of here. So I'm just gonna imprison this guy. We get a bunch of intelligence and have an option to run the safe house and uh, get this guy out of here. Gravicious spawning alone in the intervention. Gravicious and Riker become trusted. Um, Riker, let's see which ones, uh, which scarabs do we get from Riker? So Riker, blight scarabs. Uh, let's see the price of the blight scarabs so we can see whether this is worth it. So the price of the blight scarabs is like 20c for the winged ones. It's okay. Uh, we can build this relationship and. Uh, we at least will know where she is so Riker is the leader in here um, which would give her uh, taking one unique right in fortification taking one unique Riker is not really needed anywhere um, blight scarabs are like okay uh, so it's definitely either intervention or a filler in fortification or transportation in research now we have Gav and we have Janus. Gav is one of those characters that I really prefer to remove from the syndicate entirely. He's the leader here. So if I right now put Janus, okay, I actually don't even have the option to give him the rank, but I wanna make sure that I uh, right now interrogate Gav, put him to prison, and that will make it that fled jump to the leader position in the safe house and that it will guarantee two benches with enriching uh, bridge stones. So I can upgrade my bridge stones in here, bridge stones in here. And we've got Janus, 
Martinez, and then we also want to put uh, someone like Vorici um, as well as um, Ashling, right? Ashling and Vorici, those are the next two that I want to put in here, and then rest packed and intervention, and then fillers in here, and then we can just run some of these safe house, get mastermind, and that's gonna be it. So we're getting closer and closer. All prisoners set free, transportation intelligence, research intelligence. I don't particularly care about these prisoners being free. I'm just gonna release him, uh, and we're just gonna do it like this without any other changes. And the intervention encounter here, we got Gravicious and Jorgen, the classic combo, Jorgen removed from the Immortal Syndicate. It wouldn't be such a bad option, uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, no changes here since he's okay here. Intervention intelligence, I don't wanna do that. So just no changes in here. And then we just go to the next one. And we've got Camiria, Tora, and Leo in here in the fortification. Uh, Leo, I think, in fortification is uh, pretty good, so we're gonna keep him here. I can give him some extra ranks. Tora moves to fortification. I don't really wanna do that, but Camiria moves to fortification is really, really good because Camiria is not really uh, needed anywhere else. In fortification, it gives you Harby orbs, so that's at least a little bit of extra currency. So we're gonna put Camiria in here. And then the next thing, I'm gonna try to give ranks to Leo. Yep, Leo gets the ranks. Very nice. And then Tora, I don't wanna do anything. Tora and Jorgen become trusted. Uh, I think this is okay because we can make her give us some decent uh, scarabs. So we're gonna put her um, into the uh, intervention. So I'm gonna uh, give a relationship with the Jorgen here. That's one of the decent options that I can do. So we're gonna do that. Here we've got Gaff alone. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have an option to remove him. Uh, I can uh, make him trusted with Jorgen and uh, get intervention intelligence. I don't really want to get him trusted with this safe house. I would rather put him in transportation or fortification as a filler because uh, for me, he's pretty useless. I don't like crafting with his benches. So I'm just going to interrogate him to make him lose the last rank that he had in here and then hopefully put him in transportation or fortification. All right, we got a big party in the research. We got Ed that fled, Janus, Hillog, Vorici. Finally, Vorici showed up. So we're gonna move Vorici into the research. And now we are only going to be missing one of the members, which is actually the most important one, Ashling. And I think she's actually not, she's either here or she's not at all in the syndicate. So we're gonna have to remove someone to put Ashling. This is like the worst case scenario uh, when you don't have Ashling at all when you're starting the board, but it's okay. We're gonna get her eventually. Now, Hillock, we don't wanna put him into the research. We wanna put him in transportation or fortification. Let me see, just to confirm. Yes, I want him in transportation because I want the weapon quality. So we're gonna keep him here. I can give maybe a plus one rank to Janus. So we got Janus and then we can uh, later get the rank to Vorici. Uh, in that flat, max rank, we're gonna just release and do nothing with this. This is gonna create no changes at all. And then last thing, we got Hillock. So Hillock can just drop a Scarab. We can imprison him, release him. So we're just gonna make him drop a Scarab. We got Rusted Breach Scarab and that's it. Tons of these items, but I don't need to uh, unveil anything else. All right, now we've got intervention with Gravicious, Rin, and Riker. Let's see maybe if we have an option of uh, removing someone completely. Uh, we don't. We could uh, remove a Riker from here. Uh, let's see, a Riker gives me uh, here uniques, Blight Scarab, so I could put her somewhere else. Uh, that would solidify Leo as the leader in here. Um, he gives random currency, maybe we get a couple of chests, so probably I will imprison uh, Riker in here. Uh, Rin, um, I might also imprison her uh, just to build up the um, the intelligence here for the uh, for this safe house. Here we've got nothing. So first I'm gonna imprison Riker, put Leo as the leader in this safe house, solidify him in here, destroy the items on, of intervention members. That's actually gonna be nice. It's gonna make it uh, easier, but we also we have destroy items of transportation members. Um, I think I'm just gonna imprison her. Uh, and then we're gonna get Gravicious moves to research, Janus moves to intervention. No, we don't wanna swap them. They are where we want them. So we just release without any changes. And now we've got a transportation encounter with Hillock, which is perfect. I wanna put Hillock in transportation. Uh, so I'm gonna put him in here, transportation, perfect. And then we've got Gaff, uh, Gaff and Tora become trusted. Uh, I think that's fine, uh, Tora is in here. It doesn't really matter. The relationships uh, that are like this are totally fine. Gaff is gonna stay in here or we're gonna completely remove him. So building the relationship is totally fine. Uh, we got these guys in transportation. So they're kind of fillers. Tora, maybe we wanna move her 
into intervention but we'll see later uh, what options we have for the intervention because the scarabs are pretty flexible except for like the top three that are the best that i definitely want to put there Next we have a transportation encounter with Hillock alone. We want to keep him in here. Ideally we want to put him as a leader. So I'm just, just going to put the give the intelligence here so I can get this guy out of the leader position uh, soon by running the safe house and then Hillock will stay and might even jump into the leader position after we run it. Now research encounter, we got Vorici alone, so we cannot give him plus one because he would need someone to betray. So we can have Vorici and Leo become trusted for the fishing intelligence. It's okay if they become trusted because that will make basically, um, it will make it more likely for more uh, NPCs to spawn, which will give me more options, more likely to have betrayals, so I can give him plus one rank or to manipulate the board. So it's good to build these relationships like that. These guys are already in positions where I'm not going to swap them from these safe houses. So it's totally fine to do that. So we're just going to build this relationship here. Next we have a research encounter with Vorici, it that fled and Janus, Vorici, it that fled. Uh, okay, Vorici is plus one to rank, so that's the one thing that we're going to be doing. So I'll do that first. Now we've got all these three guys set exactly where I want them to be at the exact rank that I want them. Uh, no changes, no changes. It that fled removed from the syndicate, of course, we don't want that. So we're just going to release this guy with no changes and then it that fled and Camiria become trusted. Uh, Camiria is here. I think that's totally fine. Uh, we don't really need um, uh, to move these from these safe houses anymore so it's okay to build this and then it's gonna give me fortification intelligence which is fine these are the safe houses that I actually can run earlier to like, like generate the mastermind intelligence that I'm gonna need to get transportation encounter with just Rin and nobody else Rin moves to fortification, Haku moves to transportation. I have no idea where Haku is. I don't see him. Maybe he is actually here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Haku normally, I want him in intervention. I want Haku in intervention. Somehow he's like just never spawning for me. Uh, so maybe I will move him because he's uh, in a position where, okay. Rin moves to fortification. What does Rin do in fortification? Uh, this is rare maps versus uh, normal maps. So Rin, we don't really care about. I can do that just to move Haku, just to confirm that this is Haku. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, yep, this is Haku. So now he's gonna uh, more likely maybe spawn because this is a rare safe house. This is, I think the fortification is like the rarest safe house to spawn. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure that this guy spawns and uh, I'm gonna be able to move him into the intervention because that's where I actually would like him. Now we have a fortification encounter with a Riker and Gravitious. Riker, again, still, I'm unsure where I wanna put her, but for now, Riker, I guess, can be here unless I have some different options. Gravitious and Riker become rivals. We can do that. Maybe we can remove Riker entirely in order to get Ashling. So I'm just gonna build this relationship in here into the conflict one, fortification. Um, Riker imprisoned. We can maybe imprison Riker and then get her into the intervention. She's one of the decent ones, so we can definitely do that. So I'll imprison her and she has a relationship here, so she's probably going to come in here into this safe house soon. Next, we have a research encounter with Vorici. Vorici is the only one here. Remove all rivalries from the Immortal Syndicate. This is something that you pretty much never want to press. This can like ruin your huge number of relationships that you build together so you don't want to do that we don't want to imprison him because we don't want to block this uh, safe house so i want to have like empty intelligence here to be filled so i'm just going to release him and we're simply waiting for ashling to be uh spawning somewhere like we need to remove someone from the syndicate because this is um i think haku this is Vegan, so we would like to put maybe Vegan in intervention, Haku in intervention, maybe Riker or Tora in intervention. One of these, uh, like a couple of these we want to put in here, like right? so we had like filled this safe house. Um, and then we want to get Ashling. So we will have to remove someone. Ideally, we remove someone like Guff or we can remove Rin uh, or one of the lesser ones. Um, but this is what we are waiting for now. So we're just going to release this guy and move on with our life. All right, so here we have a transportation encounter with just Guff. I would like to remove Guff from the Immortal Syndicate entirely. Uh, we have option to shuffle him around, which I'm not sure that this does anything really. Um, I can put him... Mm, yeah, I don't think we just, this does anything. We can just swap him around. This doesn't really matter. Uh, it's equivalent to basically doing nothing in this. But we really would like to uh, remove him from the Immortal Syndicate. So we want to build relationships. We want to make sure that we uh, have Gav spawning with a lot of other people. And then we're going to be able to basically build um, some like 
options to uh, betray other members, right? And this guy is trying to escape right now. Okay, he actually escaped. So this is, this is something sometimes going to happen. I didn't notice where he was, so I wasn't shooting in the right direction. And he escaped. Uh, there's nothing you can do to stop the members from escaping other than just kill them in time. Once the main guy that spawns, so this is, in this case it was Gravicious. Once the main guy uh, spawns, then uh, you kill him. And then when you kill him, then the other ones have an option to escape. Especially if they are like um, betraying it were their enemies or something like that right Riker is an enemy here of the Gravicious so that's why she was escaping in here I don't really care about Riker in particular and any other thing it's just like a filler uh, that can do decently well in intervention or somewhere else that I need but that's okay so we've got a Rin and we got Gravicious um, uh, plus one through Gravicious loses the ranks they become rivals being rivals is okay Gravicious removed I don't want to remove uh, Gravicious so I think I'm just gonna go with um, Rin loses all the ranks, uh, so Rin can uh, like float around and I can put her in the intervention possibly because the Scarab is okay. Uh, I can also keep her in here. Actually, this doesn't build, uh, no, this does build a relationship, but they do already do have a friendly relationship. Um, but enemies, is, um, enemies, I think, are a little bit more likely to uh, spawn. So I'm just going to make this uh, a bad relationship. And then we're going to go to Rin, drop some currency items. So we're just going to do that. Uh, and that's it. Another research encounter, we've got Janus here spawning alone, Rin moves to research, Janus and Rin become trusted, I don't want Rin to move to research, so we're just gonna skip this and do a release option, unfortunately he spawned alone, so we don't have any options of like removing people from syndicate or stuff like that, but maybe next time. Now we've got a fortification encounter with Gaff and Leo. Let's see, Gaff becomes leader, Leo becomes rivals, already max rank, no effect. I would really like to remove this guy from the syndicate. So let's see if we can have a different option. So if we do release, no changes. Let's see if we have any options for here. Gaff moves to transportation, Tora moves to fortification. Um, I don't think we want to swap that because this spawns uh, more often, I think. So I would like to manipulate Tora and move her to either a research or intervention. Uh, so we're going to basically release this guy and make no changes. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to give him a rank or anything like that because he was greedy and he wanted the option to become the leader, uh, which basically made it so that I don't have an option to make him. Holy shit, we got uh, Arakali touched mob as well at the same time in here. So let me try to kill everybody without them escaping because uh, this is kind of a crazy set of uh, encounters and uh, we got some diff cards and we got this. So this is a uh, intervention encounter with Rin, Riker and Gravicious. So I'll probably put Riker into the intervention over Rin. I think the uh, Blight Scarabs are slightly better than the Rin Scarabs. Although, does Riker have a better option? Not really, not really. Um, so I think I will put, uh, I can maybe put both of them, right? They're, they're like decent. Uh, so put uh, this into the intervention and then Rin into the intervention. So we've got only one more spot for somebody. So that would be someone like either Tora or um, Vegan, for example, right? Also, there is another one uh, that I want in here, which is Elrion and Elrion is actually as well not in my thing, right? So I think Haku is the one that I will put. Yeah, I have Haku in here. So if we get Elrion, we'll swap someone for Elrion. Uh, but for now, let's put these guys here and we can potentially even run this uh, soon and just um, run it later again just to get the, inter the uh, safe house uh, information for Mastermind, right? Intel for the Mastermind. And at the same time, we're going to get a bunch of Scarabs while doing this. So that's another option that we have. And then someone else is going to jump into the leader position in here. Maybe Gravicious, maybe someone like that would be really nice. Uh, so that's another option that I can go for while still waiting for uh, the guy that I want. Remove rivalries. We don't want that. In prison, we don't want that. So just release this guy. Next we have the research safe house, just Janus, uh, research intelligence. I don't think I want to do that. We just release him and uh, unless I want to block this. Do I want to block this? Is there anybody else I really want to put it right now in here? I think I want to put Ashling, but Ashling is not here. So I could technically block the safe house, but giving it by giving it some intelligence and then be able to manipulate the other ones, which have members that I potentially can remove from the immortal syndicate. So that will actually increase my chances of removing someone from the syndicate quicker. So I think I will actually do that give the um, give the intel in here and take care of that all right next we got a fortification with it that fled leo and Camiria. let's see we got plus one rank to Camiria, which is okay we got it that fled option 
uh, and then nothing else happening. So we get the one that benefits us in some way, Chimeria. It did fled max rank, no effect, max rank, no effect. So we're just gonna maybe release uh, it that fled without any changes. Check now, Leo, drop additional rare item with Veiled modifier. Doesn't really matter, but we can do that, no problem. Uh, and that's it for this one. And next is Gravicious Solo Intervention Action. Uh, we can remove rivalries or do nothing. I'm just gonna choose to do nothing in here to not do any changes. Another research encounter, which is solo. Okay, we got some huge degen on the ground, so I cannot interact with this. Uh, okay, there we go. Remove rivalries or do nothing or imprison. So we do nothing because we don't want to imprison him because we don't want to lose the rank for now. Although I could recover this rank later, uh, but I don't really want to do that right now. I don't want to bother with this at this moment. Uh, here we got a research encounter with Leo and Vorici and huge degen on the ground for some reason again. Uh, so. Uh, they become rivals plus three ranks to Leo. We don't want to make Verici lose all the ranks. Destroy items of fortification members. This is okay. Destroying items is totally fine. And then we've got a Leo, a research intelligence. Okay, this will actually block this safe house because I want to work on the other ones. So that's totally fine right now. So now in the next map, this safe house cannot spawn. Uh, members of this can join, for example, in the fight of other safe houses, but their research encounter will not be able to spawn. Right, next is an intervention encounter. We got Jorgen, Rin and Gravicious. So first of all, we're gonna grant the extra rank to Rin to get her to rank three. Then we've got max rank, nothing happens. Then we've got Gravicious, Jorgen removed from the Immortal Syndicate. Um, you know what, this is something that I'm probably gonna do. Uh, even though he gives a decent reward in here, the bestiary uh, scarabs are pretty decent. Let me look at the price. Are they like one of the best ones or just decent? Let's see, scarabs, reliquary. No, they're just like okay. They're just okay. They're not like the top ones. So I'm definitely gonna remove him because I do want the Ashling and this is the option that uh, I will not be granted too often. So I'm gonna betray. And then hopefully this is... Um, Ashling it could be also Elrion. Elrion is also another character that we do want. So we'll try this and see how it goes. So this guy got removed um, and we can continue and move on. Right, we got fortification with Camiria and Gav. Let's see if we have someone that we can actually remove. Camiria, no option. We can give the ranks to Gav, so we'll do that. Now he's on at max rank. Camiria and Riker become trusted plus intervention intelligence. Um, Whereas Riker, Riker is in here, they're trusted. I think that's totally fine. So we can build this relationship. So we got more spawns, no problem. All right, we have a transportation now with Hillock, Haku and Elrion. So Haku and Elrion, both of these I would really like to put in the intervention because they give uh, some of the best scarabs that are available, completely uh, busted. But we're gonna put Hillock to maybe extra rank. Let's see what we got here. Plus one rank to Haku. Um, Eldrin moves to transportation, definitely not. So we get the rank for Hillock because we want Hillock at max rank in here. Uh, then this guy, we want to imprison him probably, but this is always an option. Let's see, Eldrin moves to transportation now. So let's just imprison Haku because we know we're gonna be doing this because we wanna remove the rank from him. Uh, and then we've got Elrion, uh, remove all rev rivalries, just release him and keep him so that he can maybe spawn in the intervention encounter. We got some gems leveling and let's move on. All right, and immediately next encounter, we got Intervention, Riker, Gravicious, Cam Riker, Gravicious, Camiria. So uh, Camiria has nothing. Riker, I probably, uh, maybe I want to remove Riker from here because I want to make space uh, for, um, I want to make space for the other guys. Where are they? For Haku and for Elrion, right? So these two, I definitely want to put them here. If I can build some relationships, that would be also great. Uh, but maybe we just remove the Riker. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll probably just uh, put right. Actually, if I um, remove Riker from here, then it will kind of lock the safe house. So I'll actually keep the, I'll give the rank to Riker then. In that case, we're gonna keep her in here. Uh, Gravicious, uh, this uh, max rank. Uh, Gravicious, already max rank, no effect. So I'm gonna release this guy and see Camiria what options we have. Drop some currency items. Right, we got some extra currency items and we move on. 
All right, next we have a research encounter, just Janus spawning, so there's gonna be nothing good here. Janus and Leo become trusted, I think this is okay, we build up the relationship, always good to just keep building these relationships if they're not messing anything up. Like, the one situation where you don't want to build up relationship, let me show you, for example, show investigation, okay. So let's say I wanted to put Elrion into intervention, which is what I want to do. I don't want to build a relationship with Hillock, for example, and Elrion right now, because that will make him more likely to spawn in the transportation encounter instead of the intervention encounter and i want him here right but if i had a choice to build a relationship between elrion and anybody from the intervention i would definitely take it 100 percent or if elrion was already in intervention and i knew that i don't want to move him to any other safe house then i'm free to build a relationship with anybody because that just means more members of the safe houses are going to be spawning Another solo Gravicious Ambush, remove all rivalries or do nothing, we just release him and move on. Next we have a solo Camiria in here, remove rivalries or do nothing. We could lock the safe house. This safe house for some reason is locked, but we can run it right now and get Vagan out of this one, uh, which would probably also make it so that Elrion or Haku jumps into the leader. So I would wanna run this one, but after I put Elrion and Haku into the intervention. So I'm gonna keep this locked. This is actually pretty good right now. If I can lock this safe house or this safe house as well and lock, let's just lock everything except for the intervention, then it's gonna basically force Haku Haku and Elrion to spawn into the intervention. So I could potentially imprison Camiria and uh, lock this one for now uh, or remove the rivalry. So I'm gonna do that, imprison her. We're gonna get a bunch uh, for the uh, fortification, right? And it's gonna lock this safe house for now. After I think like three encounters, they are back to not being um, possible to run and they just unlock themselves. You cannot run them anymore. So I have like three turns to put Elrion and Haku into the intervention and uh, then after that, we're going to be able to um, run this safe house, right? Uh, unless uh, we, we can do it again. We can do it again. We can lock it again and just make sure that only like the intervention is unlocked and we're forcing them on or like maybe close the other ones. Yeah. Okay. Next map, we're starting off with Vorici and uh, research here. Vorici moves to intervention. We don't want to do that. I could imprison him to get this safe house to lock, which is a definitely a viable option. But then I would have to wait for him to gain the rank. I think I still might do that because right now we don't have um, we don't have Ashling even on the board, so we still will need to remove someone. So I can just lock this safe house for a while, make sure it's not going to spawn, and make sure I can put Haku and Elrion into the intervention and then play with the other ones. Okay, so we're just basically gonna imprison this guy. We're gonna lock this safe house because it's gonna keep gaining. Um, it's, it's gonna keep gaining intel uh, and then this guy is gonna pop up at level 2 and then later we're gonna just upgrade him back to level 3, no problem. And we have an intervention encounter with Haku, Rin and Riker. So immediately I can put Haku into the intervention. This is the first thing I want to do in here. So now the only other person in intervention that I want is going to be... Um, uh, let me see... Uh, Elrion, right? Elrion is the only one. Uh, Rin removed from Immortal Syndicate. Actually, this is pretty fine for me. I think I'm gonna go for that option uh, and that would put also Riker as a leader here or Gravicious as a leader. It's going to be random between the guys that have three ranks, but I'm gonna remove the Rin because I want Ashling. So any option that doesn't remove a crucial uh, character from the board is going to be fine for me. Okay, we got Riker as a leader, which is fine. So this is potentially Ashling. We'll see if it actually is Ashling, but hopefully. Uh, so let's uh, do that and continue. Next, we have Intervention with Solo Gravicious. No great options. We're just gonna release him and do nothing with him. Unfortunately, Elrion was not spawning, even though there is space for him, but no luck. Here we've got transportation with Tora and Vagan. Vagan finally showing his face. We're going to immediately imprison him. I would like to put him in, in intervention if I can. Uh, these scarabs, he gives legion scarabs, so these are usually pretty valuable. Uh, he's a good member to put there. Um, so I'm just gonna imprison this guy. In this, uh, he gives uh, legion splinters, yeah, so we don't really care about that. Uh, so I'm basically going to imprison this guy. And Hillock goes into the leader position, which is perfect. This guy never leaves this safe house. And for Tora, Tora needs that will become trusted, research intelligence. I think this is fine because Tora potentially can go into that safe house. 
Next encounter intervention with Haku, he's solo so we cannot give him a rank, Haku and James become trusted plus to research intelligence, this is totally fine, a relationship that will simply make more uh, characters spawn and Elrion just he's lazy he doesn't want to work he's not appearing in the intervention encounters apparently even though this is like one of the two only safe houses that isn't locked but that's okay all right now we have a fortification encounter uh, leo gav and Camiria. let's see if we can uh, remove someone from the syndicate if not we just get the rank to Camiria first then we've got Gav, Leo removed from Immortal Syndicate, and then Leo says nothing. Okay, so we can remove Leo from Immortal Syndicate. If we don't have Ashling yet, because we have one uh, member, I think, that is like hidden, that I don't know what it is, then that will uh, give me it, right? It's the option, because we got this one member that I don't know what it is. It might be Ashling, it might not. So I'm gonna just remove Leo from Immortal Syndicate. He doesn't give me anything fantastic. It's just like random currency. So I'm just gonna do this. Gav goes as a leader and then we got an extra member. So hopefully now we've got Ashling that we will be able to put into the research safe house. And the very next encounter turns out we did get Ashling. So we got Haku, Ashling and Vegan in here. Perfect. All of these we want to manipulate. This is amazing. Ashling moves to intervention. Nope, we don't want that. We don't want her in intervention. Vegan moves to intervention. This is very good. Haku plus one rank. Pretty sure we can move this guy to intervention first. And then we can do Haku plus one rank unless she can move to research here somehow. No, there's no way that that would be an option even. So plus one rank to Haku. Um, so we only need Elrion into this and then Ashling into this and then we're pretty much set. So Ashling, um, we basically are going to keep her without any changes so she can spawn into other safe houses. This needs to unblock. So we're going to block this and uh, this is going to be all good. Next encounter, we have a solo vegan. So unfortunately, we cannot raise the rank, but it was an op there's an option. Yes, there we go. Elrion moves to intervention. Vegan and Elrion become trusted. So perfect. Elrion is here. We got the full safe house of exactly the people that we want. We got Haku and Elrion, and as well as Gravicious, the most expensive winged scarabs that there are. And then Riker and Vegan, also very good scarabs to get. So this is perfectly set. Now all we need to do is get an option for Elrion and Vegan to gain ranks one time for each and this save house will be set forever. Uh, Hillock is here so we only need to put Ashling into this one which soon we will have the option to unlock this a couple more maps probably and then this will be unlocked and then we'll simply repeatedly run this safe house with a bunch of filler people until we get the mastermind intelligence and then we'll run it all and I'm gonna show you guys all of the rewards but we still have a little bit of building to do. Fortification encounter, Gath, Camiria, Ashling. Ashling, I don't want to move her to fortification, so I'm going to look at other options. Max rank, max rank, so we're not doing anything here. Um, I could technically imprison this guy so that I can run this safe house. We're going to get mastermind intelligence, and we're also going to block this from, uh, for example, Ashling, so she cannot uh, go in here, right, and spawn in here. So I'm going to definitely imprison Camiria. Let's say Gav or Camiria. Camiria, who do I actually want as a leader? If we look at Camiria and fortification, she brings uh, Harby orbs, and Gav has the essence crafting spam, so I definitely would rather imprison prison gaff in here so we're gonna imprison this guy and camiria is gonna go to the leader position uh, let's see if ashling has any other option camiria max rank we're gonna just release without any changes and then ashling we're gonna okay drop a unique item cool we got nothing uh, even showing on a loot filter but that's fine all right now we have a research encounter and we got Vorichi, Janus, Haku, it that fled. Unfortunately no Ashling even though she could have spawned here but we need another attempt. So let's look at Janus, uh, sorry Vorichi, plus one rank to Vorichi. That gives me plus to the ranks to everybody that I want in here. Uh, this guy is fine, Haku uh, all fine and this guy is fine. So we just do uh, release without any changes. Haku, it that fled, no option for Ashling. So we're gonna do this one first in case we have like an option to put Ashling in here. It that fled, still no option to put Ashling in here. So we just release without any changes. And then we try in the next map to get uh, Ashling to spawn in here. Next, we've got another intervention encounter. In this intervention encounter, we get just Vegan. So unfortunately, 
no plus one rank. Vegan and Hillock become trusted plus transportation intelligence. This is totally fine, so we can bargain for this. Uh, I have the safe house that I am able to run in here, but I don't want to run it now because if I do, then Ashling can potentially jump into the leader position if I don't have her attached somewhere else, right? So we don't want to run this right now. We want to make sure that Ashling first goes into the research and I have this position filled. Next we're jumping into a research encounter and we finally got Ashling. So Ashling first move is we're moving her to research and now this is full. This is almost full of all the people that we definitely want in here. So we've got Jorgen, we got Haku. Let's see what options do we have. A max rank, Janus, max rank, Jorgen. We can move him to research, although we don't really want that. If I want to move someone to research, that would be most likely Tora. Tora would be the last character that I would want to put in here. So we're gonna put this guy either in prison or we're gonna just release him so that he can go into any of the other safe houses. So I'm gonna do that right now. And we're gonna check the options that we have in here. We've got a Janus removed from the Immortal Syndicate or we've got Intervention Intelligence Janus and Haku become rivals. I don't want the Intervention Intelligence right now because that would uh lock this safe house and i want to increase the ranks of some of the people here so we're just gonna simply release without any changes and haku research intelligence also don't want to do that because i need plus one rank to ashling release and move on all right so we have elrion and vegan which normally is a really really good option because one of them should get plus one but unfortunately i get plus two and remove vegan pretty much because he's gonna like get, lose all the ranks get out of the intervention safe house and the other option is elrion removed so this is like the worst case scenario pretty much we have nothing useful in here so we just have to pretty much release them and do nothing with them and uh, remove all rivalries no 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 release them do nothing with them and we wait for the next intervention encounter to manipulate that but the setup is almost complete it's gonna be only a few maps until we run the mastermind fight and it's gonna be really really juicy all right we got a transportation encounter with it that fled gav and tora let's look at tora first because potentially i want to remove her from this safe house so that she can jump to for example the research one so we're gonna do that at the end maybe because we can do that even when she's alone max rank nothing here gav plus the levels so we're gonna get levels for gav then we've got it that fled uh, transportation intelligence and it that fled and tora become rivals this is really good because this will lock this one and this will give me a relationship between it that fled and tora so she will not be able to go in here because the safe house will be locked and she will be able to spawn in this one so this is perfect uh, they become rivals and uh, this safe house becomes locked as well and now uh, tora is the last one so we basically uh, jorgen moves to transportation tora and jorgen become trusted so we could move this guy to transportation but it's gonna be so easy to put anybody in here because this safe house is empty uh, so we're just gonna imprison her so she can move uh, in here on one of the next turns when we have this safe house and this safe house locked because that's gonna be the only option for her because this safe house is already full we got four members and a leader so we're gonna imprison her um, and sort it out that way Next, we've got uh, Elrion in here. He's solo from the intervention. We can move him to transportation, which we definitely don't want to do. So I'm just going to release him. No changes. Wait until he spawns next time with some people so that we can give him extra ranks. We got fortification spawn here with Gav, Kamiria, and Tora. We don't want to put Tora in here. We would like to put her in the research instead. So we are not going to give her that. Uh, we can. Uh, imprison Camiria or imprison Gav so I'm probably gonna imprison Gav and make sure that this safe house pretty much stays locked so I cannot have anybody trying to enter it so we're gonna interrogate this guy he's gonna be giving intel for this then Camiria and uh, let's see Tora if Tora has any other options no uh, let's see uh, so we're gonna release her do nothing with her and then Camiria Tora moves to fortification to become trusted nope so just release Camiria as well Next encounter is research, also solo member Janus. Janus and Elrion become trusted plus intervention intelligence. I don't really want the intervention intelligence. I think it's okay, maybe worth it to make them trusted because that will basically make it so um, I have uh, extra members spawning for Elrion and Elrion really needs the ranks. So potentially could do that. So I think I'm going to do it. It's, got, it's probably going to put it here. Actually, it's 94. So let's see. It actually pushes it to 98. So 
each point is like a percentage point here um, so we build this relationship and we're going to be able to not still not lock the safe house and have him spawn and potentially janus come to help in intervention and give us an option to give an extra ranks to uh, elrion to make it a little bit faster Next encounter, we have an intervention. Elrion and Janus, just like I said, uh, Janus came to aid of Elrion because of the relationship we build. Unfortunately, the option is to <laughs> remove all the ranks from Janus, which is not something that we want to do. Plus the intervention intelligence, they become rivals, uh, not necessary. So we're just going to release this guy and Elrion and Gav become trusted. That's totally fine. Extra relationship that we can build. And hopefully in the research now, we're going to be able to put Tora soon. And this is the next research encounter. We did manage to spawn Ashling, so that means we're gonna be able to get a plus one, which gives us max ranks on everybody we have in here. Only Tora missing basically, but this is like an optional character that we can put in here. Um, research intelligence, they become rivals. I don't really want the research intelligence because I still would like the option to put Tora in here. Vorici moves to blah blah blah, we don't want Vorici to move anywhere, we keep it like this as it is and uh, we're one step closer to setting everything up. Next we have a research and we have Tora actually spawning in here so we're gonna get Tora plus one rank and she moves to research. She gets two ranks because we got the passive so now we only need to uh, get this one this safe house one more time one last time and we're gonna get Tora to rank three if she spawns with somebody else. Uh, max rank, uh, okay, so it that fled, okay, we just do release without doing any changes on this guy. We don't want to do the research intelligence because that would lock the safe house, so we just release without anything because we wanted to spawn one more time for Tora to gain the extra rank. The next encounter we have is Gav in fortification, so we could give him one rank, we don't really care about this guy in here, uh, so I can simply interrogate him so that he locks the safe house in two turns, he's gonna lock it, then we're gonna be able to run it, and then we're gonna be able to start collecting the intelligence for the mastermind, so I can simply interrogate this guy and not care about anything else here. Next encounter is Jorgen solo in transportation. Uh, I could get the transportation intelligence in here and that would lock the safe house and make it so that this is not spawning and we're gonna have a guaranteed three other safe houses spawning that will allow us to lock the intervention and then make sure this one is the only one spawning uh, and that is a pretty good option so I'm gonna just pick this and this is perfectly good. And next we have another research with Tora spawning, which is perfect, guaranteed plus one for Tora. So we've got these two most juicy, most rewarding safe houses, jam packed with insane rewards, all at max rank, all ready to be uh, run. And I'm just gonna also run the hillock, right? And then the rest ones we don't care about. So this is just gonna feed our mastermind over and over. Um, and right now, okay, let's, just kill the rats so that these rats don't kill me. Let's see if we get some options to get. Um, okay, we're just gonna execute, max rank, no changes, execute, max rank, no changes, and then release uh, like this. Uh, we're gonna want to uh, get any intel without putting these people to prison into the, these safe houses to lock them. But another thing we can also do right now is utilize uh, the passive on the Atlas skill tree that is going to give us completing your maps grants 10 intelligence for a random immortal syndicate safe house. This is what we want to grab now. Before at this point, it was actually a bad uh, thing to take because it would lock safe houses that we don't want locked. Uh, so right now we're going to pick it and it's going to keep these safe houses pumped up to the max and we're just going to be running this safe house repeatedly feeding the mastermind. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, refund one of the points. Uh, we can refund like just random uh, quant rarity and then we're going to pick intelligence gathering and now we're just going to fill in the mastermind uh, until we can actually run the fight. So after filling these safe houses with all of the rewards that I want and putting Hillock and Transportation, Rank 3 Leader like I wanted, I'm going, to, I'm going to simply run this safe house now with Chimera Rank 3 and we're going to get some Mastermind Intelligence and that's gonna just feed it so that we can run the boss fight at the end. So we killed Chimera and Gav, we're gonna interrogate her, it's gonna give 16 Intelligence per turn 
Uh, so that's going to be like 48, right? So we're gonna have to do it a couple of times and I think it depends on the rank of this guy here. So we're gonna interrogate. Gav jumps as a leader. Camiria is most likely going to want to go in here because this like these are packed. So Camiria actually cannot go anywhere else. Um, and we're gonna just put Camiria in here and just repeat the same thing. Just give them some ranks and then uh, feed a mastermind again. Right now, next we got a fortification encounter with Camiria rank two. We can get fortification intelligence. Uh, this is better than anything else that we can do right now. So we're just gonna do this. Nobody else spawned in here. We got some relationships, but not too many. Uh, so this will take like probably one more mastermind fight if we get like some ranks on these guys and then we're gonna be able to run the fight. All right, and we have also an intervention encounter. We're gonna try to lock it. So let's see if someone has an option. To do that, max effect, uh, nothing to do. Let's try next one, Elrion removed. Ranks to Elrion, no, let's just release without any changes. Vegan, remove rivalries. Nope, we don't have any options, but the passives that we have from the Atlas skill tree will probably lock one of these safe houses uh, very, very soon. All right, and now we have Ashling solo in here. Ashling, we don't want to move her anywhere. We don't want to imprison her. This safe house got locked after finishing the last map and probably this one will get locked now or we get some extra XP for this one. So release Ashling. Don't make any changes. Just keep the perfect setup as we have. And we've got Camiria again, solo in fortification. We can get fortification intelligence. That is okay, we're just gonna grab that. Uh, would love the boss to spawn so that we can get some ranks going on so we can have a more intelligence per like imprisoning people and uh, running the safe house, but that's okay. Next encounter we spawned is Jorgen. We can put transportation intelligence, again, lock the safe house, perfect. And now we have a research encounter as well. We got Janus uh, and he doesn't have an option to lock this, but it's okay. We're just gonna release him without any extra changes and move on to the next one. And now we have a fortification with Camiria and it that fled. We have some options, ranks to this guy, Camiria, research intelligence and Camiria and that fled become rivals. We can also imprison this guy and this will give me some extra um, intelligence in here so i might do that this might be enough to push this uh, until the end so let's see 70 so that's 21 so that's not quite enough uh, so i could just lock this and make these guys rivals and more likely to appear together so i'm probably just gonna lock this and then by the virtue of locking this safe house i am going to guarantee that the 10 um uh, that the 10 points that goes at the end of the map from our atlas passives is going to go to this safe house so i'm actually going to do that and then still also not lose the rank so that's probably the better option camera and it that fled become rivals and we got the research and locking this safe house and then it that fled can drop some currency items sure why not Right, another fortification since that's what we're spawning most of the time we got a riker which is an option to uh this uh, like remove ranks from this guy or this one these both of these options are pretty bad i'm probably just going to imprison this guy to get more intelligence for this safe house uh, and do it like this and then a riker uh, we just release without any changes and right after that we got an intervention encounter with haku and we're just gonna put some intervention intelligence into this to lock the safe house and make it not spawn anymore and now we have Camiria solo in the fortification. Uh, she doesn't really have anything great to do in here. Uh, I'm probably going to get, yeah, one, one of these is going to get locked at the end. So we either will run this one or this will be locked. Uh, I'm just going to do a um, bargain in here and do nothing with this and wait for basically completing the map to do the job for me. And another solo fortification Camiria, and this time we get the option to get the fortification intelligence, which will basically allow me to run this safe house right now and hopefully get enough intel to get this mastermind fight going right now. So now we've got this safe house to run, so I'm gonna run it and see. Maybe it's gonna be enough intel for the mastermind, maybe not. Maybe we'll have to run it one more time, but at least Camiria is gonna go as a leader and Gav is gonna be lower, so I'm gonna have options to probably have Gav with these relationship, relationships to get like higher rank and then maybe remove Camiria, put him back into the leader and have this finished. Either way, it's gonna be one or two rotations of this remaining until we get the mastermind fight because I don't wanna break any of my other safe houses because they're like, they're set up so perfectly. 
this is like absolute perfection in terms of like who you can put in these you don't have to go for that every single time you can just use certain options right certain characters but i wanted to like show everything i wanted to show like the perfect mastermind setup at least for the current league because that might change in the future but uh right now this is the setup that you want to go for if you want to build like the most juicy absolutely crazy bonkers mastermind fight with the best rewards and as you can see we also have tons of xp uh, because running these safe houses also gives you a huge amount of xp this has a mo xp multiplier there's tons of magic monsters and uh, this character uh, is already level 97 so from the beginning of the video you can see my xp steadily going up because we're never dying i haven't died on this character today so this character is just getting huge amount of experience so let's see we get Three, four per turn so that's gonna be three times four that's gonna be 12 that's gonna be not enough and we're gonna be missing 10 so we're gonna have to run this one more time but that's okay we're gonna get some xp right now and then do it one more time one more super quick rotation and then we have the mastermind fight and this fortification encounter gives me an option for Gaff and Vegan to become trusted. This will build another relationship allowing for Vegan to potentially spawn into here unless it's not going to be uh, possible when the safe house is uh, locked, but it's going to be unlocked at some point and it's going to allow me to get potentially extra ranks on this guy. So we're going to do this. Next we got another fortification, Gaff solo, friends are not coming to help him, unfortunately we're not gonna imprison him right now because we don't have that much uh, in terms of the possible uh, intelligence that we can gain for him, so we're just gonna release him without anything else and hope that next time we're gonna get someone, and bump his rank and then when we interrogate him we're gonna get much more intel and then we're also relying on the um, intelligence gathering in order to bump this safe house over time, we're just gonna get 10 and 10 and 10 and 10 every single map we complete we have a i think either a, either a chance to i think it still can go into the ones that are locked because you can like unlock and lock it immediately uh, but a huge chance to get the plus 10 every single map so we're just gonna release him and uh, run a next one and finally someone came over to help Gav so we can get the ranks on him potentially. Nope, we cannot. We have a bad option in here. Uh, let's see what Tora has. Nothing special. So I'm just gonna release Tora without any changes. Don't want to mess that up. And then we have another option. Nothing good. So this is just quite unlucky but eventually we're gonna get it's only 10 more. So it's like only one safe house that I need to run to get this fight and I don't want to run uh, this one because i want to keep hillock as a leader in this position uh, to see if he gets like two benches or just one all right we got gaff in fortification we got only option for a little bit of extra intel which is what we're gonna do unfortunately no friends coming over he has relationships with multiple people we could have gotten plus one which would bump him automatically to plus three which would let me interrogate him and give me like most of the intel and we would be able to run this much quicker but no luck so we're just gonna pick the fortification here and grind it out we also have the research safe house unlocked temporarily. Uh, we have an option to destroy items of all research members, which is fine. We can just do that. Um, and then we're gonna run the next map. And next encounter we spawned is solo Elrion. No option to give intel. So we just release him. We don't wanna remove him from the syndicate or do any of that silly stuff. Next we have fortification, we've got forever alone, man, <laughs> forever alone. Gaff and Camiria become trusted. Uh, this is actually good. This will allow me to get these uh, guys to maybe swap, maybe spawn more often. This is good. Hopefully we're gonna get some extra ranks. If I can get some ranks on one of them, like hopefully the guy that's at the, well, actually it doesn't matter which guy because we'll put uh, either guy into prison next, so that's okay. Next encounter we got fortification and actually vegan showed up. Let's see if we can get a rank. We cannot get a rank. This is uh, just unbelievably unlucky what we're getting in here. Uh, Gav can destroy items of intervention members. I don't really care about that. So I'm just going to release this guy and hopefully this guy has some option for intel. It that fled become trusted. Okay, he's got another relationship. He's got one, two, three, four, five relationships and we are not getting plus two ranks ever for this guy. This is... This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. All right, we got Gravicious in the intervention. Solo Gravicious, no the valid options. So we're just gonna release him without making any changes and move on to the next map.
Next we have an intervention encounter where we got Gav Vegan. Gav actually spawning in here and we can get him some ranks. Amazing, fantastic, finally. Finally we get some ranks so we can boost this and then run this safe house and we have everything set up after that. So we just release this guy unless we got some extra nice options. No, so we just release without anything. Grabishes and Elrion become trusted, plus two intervention intelligence. This is good. So let's roll with this. And now we've got fortification with Kamiria and Gav, and now Kamiria shows up. <laughs> she wants to remove Gav from the Immortal Syndicate. No, we're not gonna be doing that. Uh, we can just put Gav in prison, and he's gonna be giving me a lot of intel for this. Uh, and then Kamiria didn't have an option for plus one, so we just uh, release and keep it like this uh, because this is not gonna give me much. So we just release this, get some XP for this safe house, and. Uh, soon we're ready i feel like i've been saying this for a lot of encounters but we've been getting quite unlucky with the last uh, uh like options for gaff we would have been we would have been done it like maybe i don't know 10 maps ago <laughs> maybe <laughs> but it is what it is and we have a research encounter spawning now with Vorici. Vorici and Hillock can become trusted plus transportation intelligence that is totally fine so we're just gonna keep that, build this relationship, doesn't really matter at this point. And yet another transportation done with Gav and 10 intelligence, this is gonna give me almost the cap. Uh, if I put him to prison, this is gonna give me uh, three, so this is gonna give me actually the cap, so I'm probably gonna just pick this to get it done with, and in a couple turns this is gonna be ready to run, and we're just gonna run the mastermind. We got solo Ashling in research, plus research and it's perfect, locks the safe house, one bomb done. All right, and finally the intel came in and we got the safe house to run. So let's run the Camiria one so that we can get enough for the mastermind. So I think she gives like four, it gives like four per turn if you have one. So this will give me 12 and I only need 10. So this should be the last one that we need to run. So let's run the safe house and get the mastermind intel. So we kill the guys at the end of the safe house and it gives you four per turn at rank one, which times three is going to be 12. So it's going to be enough for the mastermind. And we're gonna get all of the juicy rewards, which I'm gonna show you guys as well. All right, so now it's time to do the mastermind fight where we're gonna get all of this insane juice. So just so you can see which rewards I'm getting, I'm getting Hillock with 30 quality weapon. I'm getting a double Bridgestone upgrade. I'm getting Ashling craft. I'm getting T4 white sockets. So one to six white sockets on an item. I'm getting a bunch of expedition currency, gem XP. We're getting uh, divination scarabs. We're getting reliquary scarabs, legion scarabs, strongbox scarabs, as well as blight scarabs. So this is absolutely insanely packed and it's gonna give me multiple divines worth of loot. Uh, so let's go. Oh, and we hit level 98, luckily just before we enter the boss room, so I don't care about dying on the boss fight, short of just losing portals, so I'll try to not die as well. But we get an extra point to play with, uh, I don't even know what I can grab, uh, I can just grab, I have some life points, I can grab some extra life, sure. And there we go, Katarina is dead, managed to do it deathless, even though this character is atrocious as bossing, it's a super super zoomer character that goes very very fast, but uh, it cannot kill bosses very well. However, we managed to not lose any portals, not lose any XP, which I was not in danger of anyway. Uh, let's see what we get from this fight and see all of the rewards that we're getting. So we're getting some, uh, we're getting the flask, we're getting some scarabs. I'm going to count up the loot at the end of it, basically, when we have everything collected. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to show you everything we're getting. So this is a bench that we have for replace a random modifier on a rare item with a veiled modifier. So this is Ashling Craft that goes for um, two divines right now. So I'm going to go on TFT and post and uh, see if someone wants this craft right now.
All right, so here we have a summary of everything that I've gotten from this mastermind fight. We've got a couple of divines from selling the Ashling craft of the on TFT. We've got a flask that is worth like 50 chaos without checking for any of the rolls. We got 50 chaos for selling the white sockets. I only hit one white socket, so like the lowest RNG possible. We've got like over 170 chaos worth of the scarabs. We got some extra currency. We got like over 30 C per each of these breach stones upgraded so that's like 60 to 70 chaos upgraded as well we've got 30% quality on a weapon which also goes for like 150 chaos or something like that um, and then we've got also xp i chose to put like 400 million xp on this anomalous empower that i have over here leveling uh, so in total overall it is about four divines worth of profit right so that's four divines that we just made out of thin air there is zero investment because the missions we found ourselves uh, so if you want to if you want to buy the missions in terms of the sextants you can calculate that somehow but this was all like self-acquired missions and we were doing this alongside running our other strategies so i was getting a tons of blueprints contracts invitations uh, doing all kinds of other stuff tons of harvest i was doing at the same time as well so i was running my other strategy and in parallel to that i was only putting the mission and just doing the missions from the betrayal and that over the last like 40 maps or something like that netted me about four divines so this gives you like one tenth of a divine extra per map so the value of a mission would be what something like uh 20 chaos or something like that so this is pretty powerful addition that you can do uh, like in combination with the other strategy that you're doing you can run this and hopefully after this video and watching my struggles with trying to get ranks on the certain rogues at the very end, uh, you're gonna learn how to manipulate the board a little bit better and be able to take advantage of, of all of these things. This is um, very useful in SSF. It's very useful if you have a bunch of these missions just lying around. You can see how much value there is. This is like 40 of these missions uh, just run in one big session while mapping and you can see you can make pretty decent profit on this and this only pretty much gets better with the league. Uh, progressing because Ashling craft becomes more and more expensive as the league goes on and early on at the beginning is very very cheap um, so that's how it works hopefully you learned something from this video thank you so much for watching and see you next time